Hello guys, it's Nick here bringing you my probably final Modern Warfare 2 commentary for a while. And I simply say that because of Reach coming out. You guys are going to get flooded with that, not from me, but from other people. And so I'm going to do a thing called 30 Days of Different Games, and I'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, today is going to be some Capture the Flag Team Tack on Rust. It's pretty straightforward. Don't pay too much attention to the gameplay. This is all going to be about Black Ops and uh, what we what what came out of the multiplayer reveal. Also, before I start, the music in the background is because the audio had become messed up. So I decided to go for an 8-bit type of music, which I thought would be entertaining. It's from a game called Battletoads, if you guys don't know that. Uh, you guys should know about Battletoads. If you watch Angry Video Game Ner Nerd, uh, that kind of stuff, you guys should know about ba Battletoads. Just search it on YouTube and you can go ahead and learn about it. I'm going to be using the RPD... And uh, standard kill streaks, scavenger stopping. I'm not even gonna go into it. You guys see so many people using those kill streaks. I don't even have to say it. And I'm using the RPG as a secondary just because I I knew I'd be up on top here. So I figured. I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired. I figured that I could easily get kills um, shooting RPGs and stuff. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about in this video was the um. And the Black Ops stuff. So I wanted to talk about what we learned about during the Black Ops multiplayer reveal, which was September 1st. I want to clear something up right now. Contrary to popular belief, uh, the only quote-unquote YouTubers that were at the event... I'm going to say this right now. The only YouTubers that were at the event... I know Fisticuffs has been insinuating. He hasn't straight for, state, straightforward setup. He's been insinuating that he was there. He wasn't. The only YouTubers that were there... Um, Hutch and C Nanners were there under Machinima. Okay, so they didn't, you know, Machinima got them in there, you know, blah, 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 which is great. And then a guy named Telixion, you guys should know him from Telixion's Transition and the Telixion Theory, the Nazi Zombies backstory, it's named after him. Um, we the Gamers, you guys should know him from there. And he was there representing uh, We the Gamers, and those are the only YouTubers that were there, so just know that. Look at that bad spawn. But the biggest thing that we, the biggest thing for me probably was the wager matches. Uh, the wager matches coming out, uh, one in the chamber where you, you have one bullet and it's a one shot kill and if you run out of ammo you have to go knife them, somebody, and then you get their ammo. If you shoot them you get their bullet. There's another one called Gun Game which most of you recognize from Counter-Strike. You get a kill with each gun, uh, going up in order each kill, you get your gun changes, and it's pretty much straightforward. First one to go through uh, the 20 guns wins. Uh, the next one would be uh, the um, uh, Sharpshooter, I'm sorry. It's called Sharpshooter, and the weapons, they cycle through. So every 40 seconds or so, you get a new weapon. And the fourth wager match, uh, I kind of forget. I'm sure someone in the comments below will say it. If I think of it, I will post it up. Oh, sticks and stones. It is crossbows, tomahawks, which are similar to throwing knives. I asked Carbon Fiber, and he said that the tomahawks, they have um, they have a bit more of a drop than the throwing knife, and it, and it 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 like they're not always completely accurate. He said they curve a little bit to the left and the right. And he said that if you sh if you put it in someone's foot, uh, it'll be a hit marker. So you will get hit markers if it's in someone's foot, which is, you know, great. It's going to cut down on some of those amazing kill cams because there's a, a smaller area for a kill. But still, it's more realistic and we got to enjoy it. And then the next thing was customizable uh, camos. So you have, like, 12 total camos, I think? And I'll tell you how they're all unlocked later. Then attachments, there is a new flamethrower attachment. After that, pretty much all of the attachments are the same. And to unlock these things, you have to use something called COD points, right? So you these COD points you get from doing things called contracts, which are just pretty much the same thing as challenges, except you have to accept them at the beginning. Like before the match, you accept it, so it counts. You can't just get it any time. You have to be actively doing the, the, uh, the contract to get it and you get COD points and that's how you buy your stuff so not everything's gonna be unlocked from the start so you, so you have to get to a certain level still to unlock stuff but then you buy your COD points so when you get to a level and it becomes available for purchase that's when you uh, buy it with your COD points 
And so, uh, the COD points, you can actually earn them or lose them in the wager matches. That's part of the point. If you get really good, people can get rich off these COD points. Just keep winning wager matches, and I think that'll be totally awesome uh, to do that. And so, uh, the... Um, the red dot sites are completely customizable now. I mean completely customizable. There's all different types of centers. So the center of the sites, the smiley face, there's uh, there's tons of them. You can switch the color of it in there. You can switch the color, so that'll help people that are colorblind, you know what I mean? If, if you're colorblind and you, you know, red dot site, you can change it to, to green or, or blue, orange, whatever, that kind of stuff, so you can actually see it. Uh, once again, all of this is purchased with COD points, and they, they said that if you just level up and you don't do any wager matches, you will not get enough to, you won't get enough money to unlock everything, but if you do enough wager matches, you will. So you just have to be really good at wager matches, and then you can go ahead and pretty much get all your, your attachments if you feel like doing that. And uh, zombies, obviously, World of War zombies are in there. Uh, they also talked about free-for-all. Uh, tactical insertions are back. I'll get to the equipment and stuff next. Tactical insertions are back, are back, but they are banned from they're banned from free for all. So you cannot use them in free for all. And also, there's a report system where Treyarch, if they see your report, they'll go back in the theater mode and they'll actually check to see if your report was true, and they'll ban them, give them a reprimand, you know, that kind of thing. I want to point out that that host migration was like a 50 second host migration. I'm not even lying. Uh, it was pretty annoying. But we ended up getting through it. And your... Your boosting is gone. So no one can boost, which is great news. Um, on to equipment. There's the camera spike, which we saw. Which is pretty straightforward. Sets down a camera and it replaces your minimap. You can actually toggle between... The regular mini map and the camera. So I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of weary about that. I have a feeling that no one's gonna really use it, but I'm still kind of weary about game battles. People just setting camera camera spikes on one door and then claymore in the other door. Uh, on to claymores next, which is the equipment slot, which is up on the D-pad. Um, you can place your claymores down, and the, they will actually. Uh, you can pick them back up again. So if you accidentally placed it somewhere that you didn't like it, you can pick it back up again. And that's pretty much it for new attachments. There's a there's a, um, uh, a radar sensor, kind of like in Battlefield. Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2, there's a sensor, and it'll do little waves, and it'll show up any, any enemies that are inside of it. And then for the secondary, secondary grenades and grenades and stuff, they change it into lethal and non-lethal. So in the lethal, there's the, the Semtex, uh, the Frag, and then there's one more. Uh, which I'm Tomahawk. Tomahawk is in there. And then non lethal, there's the Willy Pete, which is a smoke. There's a flashbang. There's a concussion, which is the same thing as stun. Uh, there's a decoy, as it's called. And when you throw it, it simulates gunfire and, and uh, red dots on the mini map. So it simulates gunfire pretty much. And it shows up on your mini map. And it's going to be. It's going to be really interesting to see how that can be used. I have a feeling that everything's going to be balanced. People say, oh, it won't be balanced. It will. Tactical insertions back. Um, you can actually, like in like in Modern Warfare 2, how if you saw a tactical insertion, you kill the person and wait for them to spawn. They can actually decide to, to not spawn there. So they can decide to cancel that tactical respawn if they want. They can decide to cancel that. And that's pretty interesting, I thought. Um, it's just pretty awesome you know you don't have to get spawn camped and that's pretty much it for black ops I'm gonna go into theater mode here which is good and bad uh, theater mode you'll be able to play back record and upload your entire matches to your file share we don't know if you'll be able to download those matches off of the internet and upload them to uh, YouTube and stuff you may be able to but uh, I'm kinda worried that everybody and their brother will be able to do commentary um, and it's not that that's bad, but it will just completely dry out everything. I mean, heck, I just started, so I shouldn't even be saying this, but everyone and their brother will be doing commentary if, quote-unquote, if that's available. Otherwise, it'll be a cool way to share, uh, share your, your top plays or such. Uh, like in Halo, top plays, you know, they upload it to the file share. They'll be able to do that with Black Ops, so you won't have to have a capture card to be in the top ten plays, to make even, even montages. 
Uh, you won't you won't have to do that. And theater mode, you know, you you can do third person, and you'll actually pause it, and the particle effects will freeze in 3D, so you can pan around them, go through them. And I just wanted to talk about Black Ops here, guys. Uh, more commentary is coming soon. Sorry, I've been slacking off a little bit. It's just been uh, laziness, pure laziness. It's not going to happen again, guys. Uh, let's say goodbye to Modern Warfare 2 and hello to some different games. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube and also check out our website, thatgamingshow.com, where you can watch live broadcasts and also participate in our forum.